So pirtabrutinib is different than other previously available BTK inhibitors in that it is a non-covalent BTK inhibitor. So a uh, brutinib and a calabrutinib and xanabrutinib, of course, which doesn't yet have the FDA approval for CLL, um, but the, the first two, of course, do. Those are all covalent BTK inhibitors that bind irreversibly. So pirtabrutinib, the first difference is that it binds in a non-covalent or reversible fashion. The drug overall um, does seem to have a high, high selectivity for BTK um, on the kinome selectivity map. It actually has um, greater than 300-fold selectivity for BTK compared to other um, kinases. So this makes the drug a very clean drug with very few off-target effects. And so as a result, it overall appears that it may have a better safety um, profile compared to the other uh, drugs in the class that um, may not be quite as selective. Um, but the reversible binding mode additionally may lead to um, advantages in that BTK inhibition doesn't appear to be impacted by the intrinsic rate of BTK turnover. The other pharmacokinetic properties of the drug are that it appears to have a, an excellent um, on-off effect. And the plasma exposures, when we looked at the dose escalation, appeared dose-dependent and linear. So just a very clean uh, profile. Um, and uh, the plasma exposures um, were able to exceed the IC90 for BTK for all dosing intervals at doses of 100 milligrams daily or higher.